A fixed asset is an item with a useful life greater than one reporting period. Common examples of fixed assets may include buildings, machinery, vehicles, furniture, computer equipment, and software, etc. On the fixed asset dashboard, you see general information and basic analytics for each fixed asset which allows you to efficiently manage fixed assets that belong to your company. The window contains a chart diagram of fixed assets values based on the date. Each individual chart represents a ratio of accrued depreciation, residual value, and salvage value of the total quantity of assets. Below the chart is an infographic that shows the current number of assets, their initial value, and residual value. At the same time, the Fixed Assets dashboard shows a complete list of all fixed assets. The listing page contains the name of the asset, name of the fixed assets group it belongs to, its initial value, salvage value, accrued depreciation, and residual value. To create a fixed asset, enter the name of the fixed asset you want to add. Indicate item type, base unit of measurement, and other relevant information. Configure accounts associated with the fixed asset that are used to record and store information required for the recognition of the fixed assets and determination of their depreciation parameters. When you create new fixed assets, accounts under the Accounting tab are auto-completed, being retrieved from the My Company settings. But it is recommended to revise default accounts and change them to accounts that are more appropriate to the specific fixed asset. Specified accounts become the fixed asset's default accounts and will be used in documents in all fixed asset related transactions. Fill in fields under VAT tab in case you plan to sell the fixed asset or derecognize it before the end of its useful life period. If reduced VAT rates are applicable to this fixed asset, Select a specified reduced VAT rate for it. Add fixed asset codes such as EAN13 and QR code. Set up replenishment rules for warehouses in which item is stored. It is not obligatory to provide all information under the tabs immediately after creating a fixed asset. You can fill in some details later on in the course of working with the system. You provide information under the tabs to simplify and automate the creation of documents. Save the created fixed asset.